Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yeah! Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire. <laughs> and I am super elated to be scrutinizing another swing dance video today. But first, make sure you subscribe and mash that notification button so you never miss a swing dance reaction video again. It looks like we are going to winter jump 2020. This is a teacher's introduction, which just simply means the teachers are going to get out there and improvise a little bit to kind of show the students what's going to go down for the weekend. Really excited to be able to see what I can learn from some of these teachers in this demonstration. Do not let your hearts be troubled. I will be telling you the absolute truth about how I feel about this footage. So if you are someone who gets triggered by the truth, this is not the place for you. Okay. All right. Here we go. Okay, we're going to start off with our concept teacher. All right, I like this band. Ah, uh, who are these teachers? I can't see. I can't see up close. So I can't tell who it is. All right. Some new faces, that's really exciting. It gets me excited about the future of the art form, getting these new faces out here. Okay. Yeah, some young people, really cool. Oh, I love his height. This is great. I actually wonder how tall he is. I can't really tell from the video, but I can just tell he's towering over his part. Love her swivels. Okay, a little snapshot. Oh, she's having a good time. That's awesome. Mm. Uh, let's see. Felix and Pamela. See what they got to do. <laughs> I love Felix's <laughs> It's not over I love that <laughs> It's like no announcer Pamela's like I'm going back out And you're coming with me I was going to say I love Felix's intensity Oh Alice and Felipe all right. Yeah, she's rocking that dress. That's pretty dope. Come on. So it seems like everybody's just kind of casual tonight, just kind of relaxed, no one's coming out swinging too hard, but wait, it's not over, we will see. Next we have Kat 
Katia and Ricard. Oh yes, I love Ricard's dancing, guys. We gotta talk about him. Oh. And Katia, do I know? Oh wow, this is whoa! Whoa! I was not expecting that hair color. Wow! I didn't even recognize her. It's been a it's been a while since I've seen her dancing. So I think now I need to shut up about knowing these people and, and look at the dancing. <laughs> Ah, man. Pizza. Oh, yes. Yes. I love this couple. Love this couple. Nice stop, nice stop, that was good. Yeah. That was pretty respectable. That was cool that they were actually doing something different. And who was this? Ah, oh, Laura Glace and Remy. <coughs> Let's see what happens. I'm digging them socks though. Remy's got some fire socks right now. He's wearing them pants extra short so we can see them socks too. Yes, Laura. Oh. Yes. Okay, so this is everybody. Kind of casual, laid back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, you have to do the ubiquitous snowball. And maybe they'll do it with the audience. I don't know. That's kind of like a new thing a lot of people are doing. This band is just, they just keep taking it up. is not moving. I can actually see everybody. Uh, that's fun. That's really fun. Yes. Good time. Splits. <laughs> Random splits. Yes. Let's 
talk about this one. This was quite interesting. You guys know I love watching uh, demonstrations like this. I come from an era where we couldn't really be casual on the demonstrations because everybody had something to prove. And there was not a whole lot of space for everybody to get equal attention. Um, so I'm, I'm always curious to see who is going to have that level of intensity, even when it's not that big of a deal. I mean, this is like letting students know, hey, I'm here. We're going to teach. You guys saw us on the program. You came here. You registered. But I'm here. So I, when I watch these, I'm kind of looking for that intensity. I want to see if there's somebody out there currently working on something cool and they want to show it to everybody you know that's kind of what we did we were always working on something social dance and then we would demonstrate it up there in front of everybody and then we would probably teach some of it that weekend but i'm sure a couple of people probably did that um it was good to see some new familiar faces and some new faces i did the first couple of people that came out on this video i've never seen them before that's quite impressive that's quite impressive i know it's, it's just a different culture in certain places. Uh, I know in the United States, there's not a whole lot of like transition uh, to allow people to develop as leaders, people who are not just wanting to teach, but people who can actually dance. Uh, they love social dancing and they want to teach. And there's not really like practical liaisons to help those people go through the necessary learning curve, you know? And it's just, it's weird how certain places have this naturally kind of built into how things work in their communities and it's really great to see that here because there's a lot of people i did not rec recognize at all especially the tall guy i really liked him it was lady she had like a like a brown no it was like a purplish brown dress and the guy had like a gray suit on i really liked them really liked them and i wish i could just take a class um, from some of these new people and people think well, why would you take a class well a lot of people take classes for different reasons, including instructors. And I prefer taking classes to just kind of see where the teachers are in terms of what they are working on and trying to see if I can assimilate whatever their new ideas are into my own dancing. I think it's incredibly fun uh, to do that, especially because our approach to Lindy Hop is really simple. We try to demystify it and make it like not the point to make it super technical. But the real point for me is, can I go to a class and learn something from anybody and be inspired and basically put it into my own dance language? And I love that about taking classes, even as a teacher. Um, it was good to see uh, F Felix and uh, Pamela in this. You know, honestly, I've never, I've taught with Pamela. I can't remember where we were teaching at, but I've never had a class with Felix. But I've always respected his dancing because... In the time when I was like on the circuit and competing and doing all that stuff, he was also doing that at the same time, but it, we weren't in the same like level at the time. You know, I think he had a little bit more intensity than I did. It was like my second or third year of like competing and winning. And I think he and a couple of other dancers were just right at the cusp of like coming out and saying, we are the next people. We're going to come out here and smash everybody. <laughs> and I just remember talking uh, I can't remember. I think it was like to Dax or, and Sarah, somebody I was talking to. And we were just kind of sitting and watching Felix. We were like, look at his eyes. His eyes were just like intense and big. And he was just like, he would do something and he'd look at the audience and just get into it. And I thought, this guy is, is definitely passionate about this. And I've always loved him for that, to, to have like a serious passion for Lindy Hop. So it was good to see him here at this event. I think that was really cool. Uh, who else was it here? Uh, of course, Felipe. Yes, I'm really digging Felipe's dancing right now in this footage. I, you know, he's in a different time in his life and dance. And a lot of people have been dancing for a long time. You kind of go through this maturation process, and you kind of find yourself when you start refining yourself and kind of working on different ideas, taking more risk within that particular framework. And it's really good to see him in that zone right now. I'm really excited to see what new art comes out of him while he's still healthy and while he can still do it. Really cool. Really, really cool. And my favorite dancer, obviously, at this event was Alice. Um, she's one of my favorite dancers of all time. And I'm a lead. <laughs> Get that. 
She inspires me and I'm a lead. And it's mainly because of her uh, ability to do so many different styles. She can change her style at, at the split of a dime, dance with anybody. And I think that type of ability has inspired me more than anybody in the scene. She's just one of the best dancers in the world. It was really good to see her there just kind of working with both of her partners. She works with a lot of different people. I think that's kind of how the scene is right now. You know, people are kind of, we're kind of growing out of that phase of always having to have the same partner. I think it's kind of weird um, that that's changing. For I think it's good. I think it's good. It kind of shows who the individuals are and how their individual expression can mix up with anybody and it creates some type of new dynamic as opposed to everybody just being identified with their partner and them. Um, I like that. I actually like that. And so it was really cool to see that Elise is there. She's had multiple partners, lots and lots of different partners, but the intensity of what her work is, it still, it still gets to me. It still gets to me to this day. Uh, who else was here? There was a lot of other people. A lot of other people. <coughs> I got to say something about uh, Ricard. This guy, a lot of you guys don't know him. Uh, some of you Americans may not know who he is. And if you don't pay attention to these American events, there's not a whole lot of events in America. It, the internet makes things seem so much bigger than what they are. We got like two big events in America. They're run by the same people. They've been doing it for all these years. And there's not that many events. So when, when you see it, you may get like a touch of the representation of all the different dancers in the world when they show up to these events and they put all the videos on YouTube. That's pretty much all you're going to see. But a lot of dancers that are in Europe and in Asia, you may not ever see um, unless they go to some of these big events. And so it's really good to see him around more. I'm, I'm starting to see him around in some of these other events. And I'm liking what I'm seeing in terms of his dancing. He is... He is taking risk in a way that says, all right, here's the dividing line. I'm going to do something different. I know everybody's dancing this way in Sweden. No, this is what I'm going to do. And I appreciate that. Even if I might disagree with what the choices are, I appreciate that attitude and willingness to just go out of the way and say, I'm going to be different. Now, I don't agree with it if it's just dumb or not, not very good. But if you're just out there saying, I'm going to be different, and you're trying and you're doing something that actually looks good, and it also helps me identify a little bit more of their style, like who they really are, I'm all for that. And lately, some of the stuff I've been seeing him do is just phenomenal. Just phenomenal. He's been moving up on my uh, greatest Lindy Hoppers list of all time. I've got a list. My list uh, kind of vacillates a little bit, and you know, I kind of shift some of those people on my list based on the longevity of what they've done and what they've contributed to the art form, if they're still doing things. And uh, he's definitely one of the ones out of Europe that is on my new top 20 list. So I'm super excited to see that. It's really, really cool. And let's see who else was it? Remy. <laughs> yes, Remy. You know what? I, I got to say, you know, Remy is more uh, cool American attitude than I am. People, when I go to different places, they, they know I'm American because of my accent. But, you know, if if they, if they I if, per, if Remy shows up in America and goes to a certain part of town and sees a couple of people and they listen to a certain kind of... He's just going to fit right in. He's just cool. Um, he's got swagger. He's got this feeling of, like, just grooving. And I love that about his dancing. There's just an abandon that he has that he can't hide. As much as sometimes he might be trying to play it cool do different things, you know. I, I can still see this energy behind his dancing that's kind of pent up and restrained that it leaks out a lot of times and, and I love when it leaks out. I'll say that much. I like when I can see um, just, a, just a little modicum of who he, who he is in his dancing on the, on the energetic level side of it. And I love that. It's just, it's just this abandon that I wish I had sometimes in my own dancing because I'm in my head a lot. And I'm always thinking about what's next. I'm, I'm leading. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it, but it's more of an internal process for me. I'm one of those INTJ people. So it's really, it's really hard for me to not be calculated. <laughs> so when I watch his dancing, he, he kind of helps me lighten up, you know, every time I watch it. I've never had a class from him because, you know, when we go to events, we're actually teaching. We're not actually getting a chance to work with each other. And that's another thing. That's another thing. You know, I might just put an event together 
where you can get the best of the best dancers or those who are coming up who really want to be the best of the best for the art form. And we just get together, put on some cameras, and the whole event is us just out there social dancing. So we can vibe together, connect, exchange ideas, just for the sake of fun and having a good time with the art form. Those kind of vibes are so just missing in Lindy Hop. We don't have those vibes. I had that so, so much when I was in the hip hop community. We could just get together with the best dancers, create stuff, have fun. It wasn't an agenda. It wasn't about stupid competitions. None of that. It was just for the sake of the dance. And I would love to sponsor something like that at some point. But we'll see. We'll see what happens because I, I miss that feeling. Um, and we only experience that feeling really whenever we are working with um, other, uh, other instructors at events. But it's usually like when we're having dinner or you know lunch right before the next class. We're just talking about ideas. But none of them end up proliferating because we're busy. We're just busy. So anyway, I thought this was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. A lot of familiar faces, a lot of folks I haven't seen before. I wish I could take uh, some of these classes from some of these people. You guys should too. Let me know who some of these newer dancers are. I really like some of those people who came out earlier. Uh, also, a shout out to Peter. He was dancing with uh, Elze, I thought. I liked some of the movements he was leading. I mean, he's one of those kind of social dancers where they're dancing in the metronome. Everything is like on top of the beat. It's on the metronome. And I really liked that he was leading things that he could have probably taught some of those moves in class. And I like that. It gives me ideas to go, oh, I didn't realize, you know, I could take something that simple and put it in my dancing and make it look interesting. And I like that about his dancing, too. I like that about him, too. Now, not everybody gets a trophy. I don't like to just say everybody's good. You know me. You guys know I'm not going to fluff it. I like what I like, and this is my opinion. And it's okay to have an opinion because right now, clearly, you guys are at my house. And it's my rules, and it's my opinion. So if you got a great opinion about what you just saw, let me know in the comments section. Don't forget, uh, YouTube automatically blocks profanity, and it blocks external links. So make sure you are sharing your comments. I'm not interested in someone else's opinion about my opinion. So let me know what your opinion is about what you liked on this footage. I liked it. I thought it was enjoyable. I would have taken class from all of these people just to kind of see what's going on in their head. Let me know if you would. Let me know if you'd enjoy it. How about this band too? I love this band. I've got one of their earlier CDs. They got a really great version of, I think it's in Mellow Tone. I downloaded it off of like uh, SoundCloud or something years ago. Legally, I paid for it. I paid for it. Um, but it was years ago and I really liked them. Really funny MC, by the way, like the, the leader of the band. <laughs> really hilarious. I've stolen so many of his jokes. And some people have uh, pointed it out to me uh, when the joke kind of backfired, which is really funny too. Anyway, uh, if you guys have not uh, Lindy Hopped yet, you need to do it. You need to get involved. I've got some free classes for you right below this video. So just go ahead and click that link to my website. You can get over 20 something free courses. It's my gift to you. You can see exactly what we do here in my home studio, right? I love it. I have a good time. We have a lot of great ideas that we're sharing every Monday and Tuesday. We're posting new, fresh content that people will normally can't get on the internet because we focus on new ideas all the time. That's the focus. So if you like new ideas, I encourage you to check out some of our taster courses below. If you're like me when I first came to the swing community, I did not know how it worked and I was so frustrated because I wanted to know how it worked and I didn't want to have to deal with any of the red tape, none of the politics, none of the drama. I just wanted to get right to business. How do I do Lindy Hop? What's subjective? What's objective? Show me the difference. Show me the way. That's where I was. And I spent about 10,000 hours to figure it out. So if you're interested in that, I encourage you to check out my fundamentals membership. It will save your dancing career. So you don't waste any time making things more complicated than they need to be. So with that said, if I don't see you in class online, hopefully I get to see your comments about this footage in the comments section. Take care.